Jediro. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the world's largest, smallest, longest lasting active YouTube channel and once again it's time for a classic game this time the game is Police Quest in Pursuit of Dead Angel and this is released in 1987 Police Quest in Pursuit of Dead Angel is an adventure game and police simulation Produced by Team Walls for Sierra Online and originally released in 1987, built on Terry. ATI. It was remade in 1992 using 256 color VGA graphic and the SGAI engine, which dramatically improved the appearance and the audio of the game. They replaced and replaced the command line interface with point and click. And yes, this is the version with point and click because I simply hate typing the commands. Uh, it is the first game in the Police Quest series and spawned two direct sequels, Police Quest 2, The Wagons, and Police Quest 3, The Kindred as well as Police Quest Open Season, Police Quest SWAT and Police Quest SWAT 2. The latter two games were contained in the SWAT series which dropped the Police Quest prefix. And once again, this is a game which I have never played. Uh, the only game on Police Quest series is basically the SWAT 2, which I have played. And of course, after that, the SWAT 3 of 2, but that's not the Police Quest series anymore, basically, or it is, but I don't know. Yeah, police, uh, SWAT 2 would be a really great classic game, I don't know, I might actually do it at some time, of course it's the second one, so I should probably make the SWAT 1, 2, but anyway, so yeah, what, uh, like I said, uh, this is point and click, simply because I hate writing, maybe I do some other classic game where uh, I write the commands, I don't know how entertaining it is when I try to write dozens of different commands. And yeah, if you are a younger viewer, then you don't actually even know <coughs> the idea in writing a command. So it's basically that you have the character on the screen, this screen like right now, and you have to write, like talk and uh, go to the desk and uh, pick up uh, object and if you have several objects you need to uh, know what you need to do with you can't just simply simply write something like proceed or anything you have to write the exact combination like uh, mm, uh, I don't know combine like uh, the battery and the flashlight together and then you get a f working flashlight yeah that sort of thing with point and click you simply drag on the battery to the flashlight and so on but anyways so yeah, uh, the game is about this police officer, and yeah, it's about police simulation. So yeah, what I'm supposed to do, this is very, very um, realistic. So yeah, I have now only arrived to police station, now I need to uh, good my uniform. And for that I need to know the uh, locker code, which is in the manual, so I'm just just a moment, I need to figure it out. Mm -hmm. 
And yep, I have the manual in PDF format, so yeah, I need to find the code from there. And there, yeah, as you can see, if you would need to type, yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of um, things in the closet. And if you would like to actually examine something before be picking it up, you have to write it, exam towel, and uh, if it happens to be that the towel is called uh, with some different word which also means towel it doesn't accept the towel word it, it accepts the other word and it seems the game just backed out shit it did it yes I'm carrying nothing I know I'm wearing only my towel and I'm supposed to take a shower because I can't equip my freaking uniform without the shower great but anyways yeah <coughs> it, it yeah it might be fun to actually do a uh, right game where I but yeah right now this police quest is point and click and okay at least I don't need to wash my oh, click that wash left hand wash right hand and so forth and it seems I can't control anything now, so I just need to wait and okay. So apparently now I can actually equip my uniform. Ah shit it did it. Thank god I have the PDF still open. <laughs> okay, yes, it worked. And yeah, now I go up the uniform and after that I need to go to the briefing and after the briefing I hopefully can go to uh, do actually something. So uh, as you can see I have played already like 7 minutes or so. And uh, there isn't any gameplay action going on yet. And basically there, there will never be. It's just a routine mission for this police dude. But it's uh, it's made so realistic, so yeah, it's actually fun to play. Uh, at least for me, and at least so far, because yeah, it's quite quite cool. But yeah, let's see how the uh, briefing room and other things go. And yeah, maybe I need to talk about the manual as well, because there is tons of different things uh, in this manual. So yeah, it's one of those things that today's games are missing. Uh, like, I have a full city map. Uh, I think this all came with the original game. This is from Good Old Games. So yeah, they give me this. But I, yeah, I think you get the map in the original game. Then you have, <coughs> let's see what else we have. But yeah, you have basically the. Mm <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I have some kind of newspaper as well. Yes, I have a newspaper here. Uh, a lot of things in here. Nothing that. And let's check what's in here. And, and yeah, then there is the um, a manual for police when there is uh, like an accident happening or anything, what you need to do, and so forth. And so, yeah, it's really uh, um, well complex but also very realistic. 
thing that you have all these manuals and all these things what you need and when you think about it and take and when the game was just simply typed to do something yeah you really needed to look those manuals to actually know how to proceed in the game uh, like this take a shower and be get a uniform and get to the briefing and get to the, the uh, fatter car and so forth this all reads in the manual so that's why I'm proceeding okay someone throw me with paper towel or thing but anyways yeah and we have of course all the freaking police codes here uh, like 90 no 1199 is emergency officer needs assistance respond code 3 and then I need to find what is respond code 3 and then there is 377 is murder and so forth there are lots of codes what I need to figure out and I don't know can can you pause the game uh, when you are actually in a patrol car I well I guess we will find out when I, we actually get to the patrol car assuming we actually get there because yeah it, this is quite a long game so yeah it, I don't know but yeah can do I need to pause the game to actually find out what 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 they are saying to me on the radio and I think I need to pick up car keys yes and walkie talkie uh, Mm, no, I didn't click my clothes, I clicked the freaking radio. And right now I think I need to head to garage and I have absolutely no idea where it is. Let's check this corner. Okay, and now I need to check uh, from my manual that I need to make a, some kind of test or something for my car. I don't quite get it. I need to make... okay. okay it's I think that was it. Yeah. So yeah, I need to circle around my car to see everything is in order. Thank God I didn't need to check any fuels uh, or liquids in the car and so forth or tire pressure or anything. Okay, how do I f start the car? I have not... Okay.
Okay, as you can see, uh, a quite complex system to actually drive the car. And imagine driving this car with typing the commands like turn left, turn right, st straight forward, use the siren, and so forth. And yeah, apparently I'm now heading right. And I have no mission here. And thank god this is automatic uh, uh, gear changing that I don't need to use clutch here or anything. So yeah, I, th yeah it's, I think it said I just need to drive around right now because that's what patrolling is all about. But yeah, it gives me time to actually learn the uh, controls of this vehicle. So yeah, yeah it seems that if I uh, put a signal to the right, yeah, it turns to the right, but it keeps the signal to the right. So yeah, I need to uh, click it to the forward in case I don't want to want the car to keep rotating. No, now it corrected. I don't know, but yeah, it seems that when I turn to the left, yeah, it required me to push the forward key. But yeah, quite cool driving. I I know I am I'm only driving like 25 miles per hour. But hey, I'm just learning. Ah shit! Uh, we have um, 1180, I think. I, I'm I think I'm 83. 32, but yeah, 11th uh, that, um traffic collision with major injury. Okay, cool. I don't know, should I use the siren? Um, what? No, that's the siren? Wah! I almost stopped there to the stop signal, but yeah, then I remembered that I can drive past it while the siren is on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it seems the car won't turn if the speed is above something. Because yeah, I tried to turn the car. Um, yes, yes, 11, 11.80, I'm still heading there. So yeah, it should be somewhere here, right? Well, yeah, let's circle around and uh, I don't think there is any indication on the map about the cohesion. So yeah, I think it's just plain map and it's not uh, like a GPS system. So yeah, let's just circle around here and try to find the place. I should find a fixed street or something. I don't know, it must be somewhere here. I'm pretty certain of it. Wait, is there actually a McDonald's? It's this yeah, yeah, I think that's McDonald's and then that's a nuclear plant too next to the park. Yeah, that's quite 
funny. Okay, it seems I have found the right place. The car came to a stop by itself. Okay, once again I need to check the freaking manual. I need to go see that the driver is okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey. I think he's dead. Now I need to test his pulse. He doesn't seem to be deaf no matter how many times you see it. Okay. So yeah, he's dead now. And now the manual says I need to call backups. Any ideas how I access the radio? No, I can't do that. Yeah, I know I picked up the radio, but is there some kind of inventory or do I need to click my belt? Where's the radio? It's, I don't know. Yes, that's cool, that's, uh, that it's an interesting idea, but how do I use it? I'm reading the manual here, I try to find out if there is any way how I access. Yeah, it's saying that I need to talk with uh, witnesses too, but that's after I have called backups here or, the, uh, or something. But yeah, I try to talk with these guys now. I know there is a radio in the car, so yeah, I could actually try that one too. After I have tried to talk with this guy. Thank you. 
really? The car just took off? Okay, I think I failed that mission because I couldn't call backups and I can't call backups now because I'm just I'm already driving forward and no Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end this classic game simply because I failed and I have no idea how to access the radio. But yep, yeah, I hope you liked this game and please comment and tell have you ever played this game and so forth. But anyways, goodbye. <laughs>